everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about something different than what I usually post and that is going to be about the Royal High Wiki. Now some of you may know this, some of you may not, I bureaucrat for the wiki and I adopted it a few months ago now. I have been admin longer than that since around Christmas time, January time, um, but I have been editing on there since September 2018 um, and it has developed a lot recently. And um, the main reason I'm talking about it is because uh, the development of the wiki has sort of caught the eye of some bigger YouTubers. Now I thought I would make a video here today just going over some of our rules and about the trading issue, also some how to edit things. So. I'm going to be going over a lot of stuff. Um, I'm mostly going to be going over how to edit in source mode as visual editor is very broken um, and I'm not going to encourage editing with visual editor. Um, so that's a lot of the things you can expect in this video. I'm also going to be covering some basic, basic HTML. Now I don't want you to get scared about that, it is honestly basic stuff, it's mostly going to be wiki text, but just some basic HTML uh, abbreviation uh, tags and stuff. So do not worry, um, I will make like a master list of things. There is one already on Community Central if you need it. I'm also going to be going over how you can set up your own sandbox for your profile so you can practice uh, editing in source mode. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to edit in source mode, how to set your preference uh, for editing to be for source mode and also to set up your own sandbox on your profile. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is to change your preference to source mode. So go onto your profile preferences. Now you hover up onto your profile picture here, go down to my preferences go to editing and it will be the first option here under editing experience and preferred editor and you want to click onto source mode not visual editor and it will be visual editor by default so you're going to want to change it to that so basically what this does is when you go onto a page you will see an edit button above uh, the page on above the header and by clicking that by default, it puts you into a visual editor, which is a very, very broken system and it messes up the page and it, it can really disorganize it. So it's best to keep whatever you are editing in source editor. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create your own personal sandbox on your profile. Now, sandboxes are really, really useful and helpful in getting you to learn and practice how to edit in source mode and to learn all of the basic wiki text and HTML and just get a practice and feel for it. Now go to your profile, same again, click on your profile picture and view profile and go down to edit profile under profile. Now clicking on this at the top or wherever you want to put it, uh, you're going to want to put uh, two square brackets forward slash my sand box and then two closed square brackets and that's all you need so just add that in click on publish and that appears at the top of your profile now clicking on that it takes you to this page here and on this page is your sandbox basically and you can click create and add absolutely anything you want into here now I'm going to be showing you some basic basic things um, and I'm going to also link to this Wikitext community post which basically gives you some very simple text formatting things that you need to learn and get a feel for and you can practice all of that in your sandbox. So let's say you're wanting to make a page about the halos and you're going to want to put in a header. Now to put in a header you're going to want to type in equals equals whatever text it is, so uh, the halos, let's say, is the title, and then put in another to equal sign. Now, a trick you can use if you want to view what you've written and to see how it looks visually on the page, you can click on mobile or desktop in this preview option here. Uh, and there you go, it shows up as the halos as your header. Now, as you can see, the text is to the left. Now, you can change the positioning of this by 
adding a line above that says center. Now you may want to close, you might have to close this if you don't want all of your text to be in the center. Now it does this weird thing where it breaks like that um, if you don't do a double space after your header. I don't know why it does that. Um, so all you do to fix that is to go down to two spaces and then type whatever you need to type there and it will show up in the center like that. Okay, so I've just added some basic information here. Um, this is just an example, of course. Uh, we already have a Halos page, so that's not necessary to create. We're just testing out in Sandbox. Um, but basically, this tag here, all it does is it closes the centering just around the header. So as you can see, it just makes the header centered and then it puts the information to the right of the screen. If we were to remove this tag, we just copy and paste it so it's easier, um, it then centers the text. So you don't add, need to add another center tag. Mostly we just want to keep the text to the left side of the screen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a subheading. Now all you need to do is just add another equal sign and then we're going to list the halos basically. So list of halos and then three equal signs. Take a look at that. We've got now got our subheading. Now I'm just going to show you a basic list. Uh, to bullet point, you want to add a asterisk. Asterisk. I can barely say it. Um, and just doing one will give you one bullet point. So we have the glimmering light halo. Um, and then we can do two if we wanted to, and say. Um, we can do two and basically that creates an indent so it's a bullet point of a bullet point so adding information to here uh, we can say aka light halo Ooh, misspelled make sure you spell check when you're writing these articles too it is important so as you can see glimmering light halo aka light halo that's not the best way to use bullet points, um, but I'm just showing off uh, what you can do. Okay, so we've got our list of halos. You can change the bullet points to a numbered order by adding a hashtag in front. It will automatically number these for you so you don't have to uh, go in and do it yourself. So if you just look at that, one, two, three, four. And all you have to do is just add a little hashtag in front, but I'm gonna stick to bullet points. So another thing you can do is make text italic and bold or both. Uh, so let's just uh, select our information here. Uh, and what we can do to make it italic is add two apostrophes at the front and two apostrophes at the end. Now viewing that, you can see it's in italic. Now adding another apostrophe to each side will make it bold. So there it is. And if you wanted to make it italic and bold, you add five. So there's five in total, which basically is you're adding the two for the italics and the three for the bold together and you end up with five apostrophes at each side. So there you go, italic and bold. Okay, so next thing is internal and external links. Now I've written another two sentences here and basically on Wikias you want to link to other pages within the article itself. So what I mean by that is, you can see the sentence here, the Halloween Halo 2018 was available during the Halloween event. Now, the wiki already has a Halloween event page and you, this is a good way for you to link to that page. So all you need to do here is add two square brackets. This is the name of the page uh, first. So the page is called the Halloween page. You want to add that symbol and then type in whatever text you want to display here. So we want to type in Halloween 2018 and then close it with another two square brackets. Now if you see that, it should be linking properly. So if we open the link, it links to our Halloween page. And you will know if the link is working as it will show up this purple colour and if it is not working it will be red. And if it's not working you may have labelled the page name wrong um, or switched it around in some way. So just make sure that on the left side 
you have the exact name of the page. It has to be exactly as it is shown at the top of the article you are linking to. And this is the text that would be displayed in the sentence so you can make it make sense. Okay, so linking through external links, which is which basically means links that do not have an article or anywhere in any way associated with the Royal High Wiki. So let's say Call Me Bob's Twitter, for example. So the sentence we have here is visit Call Me Bob's Twitter for more updates about Royal High. So we can basically just link this entire sentence. So all you need to do is square brackets square brackets and this is the text we want to display and all we need is link to her twitter so the twitter page is here and it is twitter.com forward slash uh, night barbie and you just add the link in there add a space between this link and also the text you want to display and it should be working i guess you don't need both brackets though but there you go that links externally. Now the Community Central page goes more into detail about this but I'm just going to briefly go over how you add images. Now of course there's just a photo button here, you click on it and you can scroll through the images if it's been already been uploaded here or choose file and upload your own image. Now I'm not going to go through that, I'm just going to upload one that already exists. You can resize it with this but it's easier if you just look at the value that is included here let's say we don't want it to be 156 pixels we want it to be 80 pixels which um, that image that I uploaded is often used on the town wheel page um, in a table and 80 pixels is around a good size uh, for the table now you can also change the positioning of this image if you don't want it on the right side of the screen you can make it center or left so I'm just gonna add center Ooh. There you go, it's in the centre and also by adding in another image underneath it and then centering it you can get them in a line like this. Now the sizing of this image is not right I know and if a, si if a file is too small or it is sized too small um, it will appear like that so make sure when you're uh, uploading images that they are the correct size. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to make tables and these are useful and helpful when listing um, items in the game. We usually have the list, the name of the accessory or the skirt or the heel um, and then we'll have the price in diamonds and then we'll have the image. Usually I just copy and paste this in, I don't really bother memorising it but you can if you'd like. And it may be helpful down the line at some point but if you were to go on the accessories page or any page that has the table in it you could literally just copy and paste this in and it's that easy um, but basically you need this basic um, you need the basic outline here but these um, tags at the end of here are basically your top headings for the table. So I've copied and pasted this from this um, from the accessories page. So if we go back, um, I can show you it's for the town wheel wave one, and it basically lists accessory, image, icon, and customizable. Um, so that is basically what that is saying. So anytime you want to make a new table, you just change this out to whatever you need it to be. So let's say you wanted to list the skirts instead. You would change this to skirt, to image. You wouldn't need the icon, so you could get completely get rid of this. And then uh, could do customizable, and then um, cost diamonds. But most skirts are customizable, so you don't really need to use that either. Um, so yeah, that is basically your header for the table. So after that, what you need to do is use this and then the um, dash, because this is the inside of the table. So you need to make sure that you are using these. Using one of them um, is a space, so then you would use that and then you would list whatever you need to if it's going to be an image you insert the image on this row if it's going to be text um, just type it out so this is the skirt so we would list the name of the skirt so let's probably just do mini skirt because I don't know the full name of it um, 
So then you would do mini skirt, and then you would do the image. Let's just throw a random image in as an example, even though it's not going to match. We'll just steal, um, steal one of these users' images that they've uploaded. Um, and then cost in diamonds. Probably, let's just put a random one, but I think it's 4,500, but I could be wrong. Now, of course, if you were making a table here, you would want more information in it, more than just one um, part of the table, more than one row. So let's add another one, just so it fills out, and I'll quickly do that now. Make sure you put the space between them. Make sure when you are making these tables and making pages that your information is correct, but this is just so I can show you what to do with making tables and things. So to close this off, when you've done with the table, all you need to do is use that again, and then close it with that, and that is it. Just like you start it, you do the opposite on that side. And then if we publish this, here's our table. You can resize these images like I showed you earlier on, and you just need to add um, the size in pixels so let's say 100 and there we go that, re that resizes them you could add links to these as well if you wanted to but we don't typically tend to need to do that and you can also if you wanted to add in um, a caption to it but typically we don't need to add them into tables um, if it's listing off accessories because the accessory name of course is to the left of that so if you wanted to I will just show you here you can add another one onto the end and type in the magical guardian of love and justice skirt and there you go there's the caption underneath that that's all I'm going to show you to do with sandbox and editing in source mode for now um, but if you have any questions, do let me know and I can make some future tutorials on editing in source mode for like more complex HTML, uh, wiki text stuff. Now what I must say here is typically we don't use um, the images log as a sort of wiki version of Instagram. Um, this is basically um, so. This is basically just a log of all the images that have been uploaded to pages and etc. Um, but we don't use it like an Instagram feed. I know a few YouTubers who have um, showed off the wiki before and given us a shout out. They have showed this images page um, and you know asked for people to upload images um, so they could see. But we don't typically do that. Um, this is, like I said before, this page is mostly just to log what images are being uploaded to articles and etc. So uploading images, um, you can upload mostly what you'd like to your own profile page, um, but when uploading images to articles, make sure they are actually to do with the article itself. So things like this is from the accessories page, this is from the accessories page, as they're showing off the different accessories that you can buy. Of course, if you are making blog posts too, then uploading images to those, which is mostly like personal, whatever you'd like to upload there, as long as, to, as, long as it's to our rules. Um, we don't typically mind. But yeah, we don't use this images page as like an Instagram um, for the wiki <laughs> so I just thought I'd let you know what um, may be best for you if you want to share your things because people uh, do tend to make blog posts or they'll post to their own um, message wall and there's probably not the best way for people to see what you're doing like um, I probably advise against posting like a blog post on your message wall more so create a blog post or if you go to the home page and scroll down there is this latest discussions thing and it takes you to uh, our discussions so when you get to this discussion page you can basically post what you'd like as long as you are tagging it right and it's to our rules of course so um, you add a title here and then you share your thoughts and you can upload an image or a link to something. Make sure, of course, again, that you read for our rules on posting and stuff for discussions because there are some independent rules uh, aside from um, articles 
for hosting discussions, mostly about like um, spam and um, uploading a lot of images and polls and things like that. So make sure you have a, a, a good read through those before you post on here. But yeah, a lot of users like to post really cool edits and they will um, ask for advice on uh, accessories and things like that. And there's a cool little community on this discussions page. So I'd really advise if you are looking to um, upload things to the wiki and you want feedback from users, not to post it in the comments of articles, but more so on blog posts and discussions. To make a blog post is very easy. You go to your profile like normal and you go to blog and then you create a blog post from this um, button here. So that's how you do that. Very simple. So yeah, I think that's all I am going to discuss today because I think it's mostly the basics that I've covered now and just some general rule and things. So hopefully this has helped some people out. I hope it's helped some users that are existing on the wiki and also anybody new that wants to go over there. Must mention again, um, you can't make an account and post on the wiki if you are under 13 years old. Um, we are strict on that because of the copper laws in the US. We do tend to block people if they are not old enough to use the wiki um, because we could get in a lot of trouble for having people that are underage on this website. So we are very strict about that so please do not make an account if you are under 13 years old of course if you are you can still read everything that is going on on the wiki you just can't contribute um, and you can't have an account basically so you can still go on there and read um, everything that is um, going on on there so you can read all of the articles still and you can read discussion posts and everything you just can't post if you are under 13 years old but yeah, I think that is all I am going to mention for this video. Another thing that I'd like to mention here is that we don't allow trading offers on the Royal High Wiki at the moment because trading is not out in the game and we want to keep people as safe as possible. Once trading does come out, which will probably be whenever Roblox fixes their data stores and we don't know when that will be. Um, so until trading comes out into the game, um, no trading offers on the wiki also we have a trading offers page that is closed you can't comment on there yet but we have some rules set in place for when trading does come out um, so we can have a safe trading environment on the wiki so if you'd like to re go read through those go read through those again I hope I've helped some people with this um, and if you need further help, let me know because I will make some more videos on editing on the wiki and wikis in general because this is, a, this is advice for more than just the Royal High Wiki. This is advice for editing on multiple wikis. So anyway, thank you all for watching everyone and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.